The AI conversation has been heating up over the past few years with some voicing concerns that there should be guardrails as technological development starts to speed up. Today, we delve deeper into the other side of AI technology with our business correspondent, Yi Dehan. Welcome, Lehan. Great to be back, Jung Min. So, tell us about these two faces, should I say, of AI. Well, Chung Min, there's no doubt that AI has its positives and can make our lives much easier. Now, think about the recent OpenAI chatbot, ChatGPT, providing information on various details and assisting you with tasks such as composing emails or writing essays. But some people are really worried about AI technology, including the CEO of the company that made ChatGPT. Take a listen. If this technology goes wrong, it can go quite wrong, uh, and we want to be vocal about that. We want to work with the government to prevent that from happening. By AI. <laughs> Last week, top industry leaders, scientists, and experts, including OpenAI CEO and Google DeepMind chief executive Demis Hassabis, signed a one-sentence open letter to the public. The letter, which expressed concerns about the risks of AI, noted that, quote, mitigating the risk of extinction from AI should be a global priority alongside other societal scale risks such as pandemics and nuclear war. So it actually warned of a possible AI-led human extinction. And Lehyun, I have heard a lot about um, AI-related issues. Can you tell us more about those? You're right, Tong Min. So if you take a look at um, the, what's going on in the music industry, in April, a music track called Heart on My Sleeve by an artist named Ghostwriter was appeared online but got removed from streaming services right away. The track sounded just like well-known pop stars Drake and The Weeknd as it was made by an AI tool to combine the voices of the two stars. Now, this is just one of many examples Examples of the copyright issues of AI-generated works. Microsoft last year also faced a lawsuit over its AI-driven coding assistant, GitHub Copilot, for violating the rights of the programmers who posted code under open-source licenses on GitHub. AI image generators have been sued by a group of artists, too. Now, copyright is not the only problem here, as some are also worried about fake news. A report released by NewsGuard, a tool that tracks online misinformation, shows that it has identified almost 50 fake news websites that are generated by AI language models, the ones like ChatGPT. In fact, last month, a fake image generated by AI was posted on Twitter, a picture of an explosion in the headquarters of the U.S. Department of Defense. This caused a brief dip in the U.S. stock market after it was promptly spread by other news agencies. After the image was debunked, Bloomberg reported that this event was, quote, possibly the first instance of an AI-generated image moving the market. And other issues include people losing their jobs to AI, as recent data shows that 5% of layoffs last month in the U.S. were due to AI. There are even forecasts made by Goldman Sachs that generative AI will likely replace 300 million jobs globally. And you mentioned AI guardrails earlier. So where are we in terms of AI measures? Um, right. So uh, that's true, which is why major countries are actually working to establish these AI guardrails. This was one of the topics discussed at the recent G7 summit, where countries including the, AI, including the U.S. and Japan agreed to establish generative AI measures by the end of this year. The EU, for instance, has been discussing the world's first ever AI act since 2021. The act would include the definition of AI, classify risk levels and responses, and the appointment of supervisory authorities. China also revealed its blueprint for AI companies last month, while Washington, following its AI Bill of Rights established last year, is also preparing for detailed guardrails at it, at it kicked off its subcommittee hearing on AI in May. South Korea, meanwhile, has announced plans to strengthen the hyperscale AI sector, but there are no regulations on AI as of yet. One expert says AI legal ethics can resolve technology backfires. Take a listen. South Korea is also working on establishing what's called AI legal ethics. There are some challenges, though, as they may restrict technological development. That's why last year, ethical principles in AI development, usage and distribution were set first. 
So many countries see eye to eye on the need for AI regulations, but it seems further discussion is required before deciding. All right, it was an interesting topic. Our business correspondent, Lee Dae-hyun, thank you. My pleasure.